means of happiness. There's two types of happiness. One is that of peace. The other is that of the traditional type of happiness, shall I say, excitement, passion, inspiration, joy, manifestation, being who you are on a physical, mental, emotional, psychological level, a relational level. So the first type of happiness is that of peace. In other words, more traditionally, it's called self-realization, for example, or enlightenment. It is what the Buddha spoke about. It is what Ramana Maharshi spoke about. It is what many saints have spoken about and pointed to. It is that inner sense of happiness, that inner sense of well-being that can never change. It's the changeless. It's to realize the changeless within. That is where the first type of happiness, the peace type, comes from self-realization, to realize who one is or what one is rather. The second type of happiness is more about who you are. The first type of happiness is all about what you are. What you are is pure, undiluted, perfect, ever-present, changeless, eternal, timeless consciousness. And I'll point to this in a few simple steps <clears throat> so that you can experience this if you're new to this. And for those of you who have been following me for a while, you probably already are very familiar with this. But if you're new to this, I'm excited to try to get this down in a couple of minutes. So, Right now, take a deep breath, <sighs> relax, relax all your thoughts. I often say, and I'll say to you now, for two to five seconds, give away all thoughts. Just relax all thinking for two to five seconds. Try it out. Give away all the ideas that you might be holding on to that may be causing you stress and strife. Just give them back to God, give them back to life, give them back to sores, give them back to whatever. But disown them, disown your stress. Two to five seconds, just whew, gone. All thoughts, gone. Recognize the peace, the space, the consciousness, the aliveness, the awakeness that remains in that moment. It is just a short moment of self-realization, but it's a profound moment of self-realization. And just like um, cutting up a string of pearls after one or two cuts, the string becomes useless, all the pearls start to fall off the string, meaning that all the stories that you have in your mind that cause you stress and strife, with only a few clear-cut moments of self-realization, of giving away all your thinking mind, all of your thinking mind, and recognizing the peace, the space, the presence that remains right here, the aliveness, the vibrancy that remains. You will clear out your closet of all these negative thoughts, of all these positive thoughts even, but you just get to know what you are at the core of it. You get to know the peace that never changes. And you start to see, the more you realize this, you start to see that even when you're having thoughts, even when you're having emotions, even when you're having drama in your life, you will start to realize and see that this presence still remains, this peace still remains with you. The presence of life itself, which can never be destroyed, still remains. This is self-realization in a nutshell. So 12 times a day for the next three weeks, 12 times a day, take those two to five seconds of taking a deep breath, <sighs> disowning all thinking, and in the silence, recognizing the awakeness, the awareness, the presence of life itself, of the now, the eternal now, free of worry, free of concern. The more you recognize this, the more automatic it becomes, the more it becomes automatic. You will always have peace no matter what occurs. Simultaneously with the most dramatic experience occurring right in front of your eyes, you will be able to also have this profound sense of peace at the core of your being. Okay, happiness type number two. <clears throat> this is more varied, but I'm gonna just keep it real short and real concise. This is the type of happiness that is all about becoming who you are inspired to be. It is following that blueprint that you came here with, so to speak, that sense of purpose, that sense of joy, that sense of excitement. And that's exactly how you do it. You have to follow the breadcrumb trail of excitement when it comes to your external life. When it comes to your internal life, you have to simply realize through experience, through meditation, through recognition, through confirmation that you are infinitely worthy of what it is that you desire. Because desire is actually a guidance mechanism coming from your higher consciousness. This higher consciousness that you realized when you, when you released all thinking is actually at the core of it a very intelligent guidance 
consciousness, guiding principle consciousness. So the way that this higher consciousness, this higher wisdom, this higher unconditional love is guiding us is through what we call excitement and passion and inspiration and desire. So we should not try to get rid of these things because the life force of desire is very pure. We simply have to realize that there is no lack in this universe, that there's no lack in existence, that there's no lack in being able to achieve what we want to achieve, that there's no lack in abundance for anything, for anyone, for any point of view in existence. And the way to do that is to start small by following the breadcrumb trail of excitement. In other words, something excites you right now. Something excites you right now the most. That might be to pick up a book and go read. That might be to walk on the beach. That might be to call your parents, which maybe you haven't done in a year and you feel like reconnecting. It might be to meet up with a friend in town. It might be to start a new business. It doesn't matter what it is. It might be to meditate. But follow that breadcrumb trail right now. What is the most exciting thing you can come up with? And then take action on it. And then when you feel that has exhausted itself, that has completed itself, you again follow the guidance mechanism of your higher self. What inspires you most from that point, from that nodal point of your life onwards? What is the next breadcrumb trail? And here's the thing, here's where people get tripped up. They project that as soon as they find something that inspires them, that it has to look a certain way, that it has to come about at a certain timing or in a certain way. But it's very important when you follow the breadcrumb trail of excitement, of passion, of inspiration, of your higher self guiding you, is that you actually pay attention to the fact that it is a set of breadcrumbs, meaning it's, it's taking you left at this moment, but the very next moment from that breadcrumb trail to the next one might not be a straight line from A to B. From A to B to C may actually go in a zigzaggy way. You may even be uh, following uh, breadcrumb D or C, or sorry, D or E, and it might take you backwards, seemingly, within your linear way of thinking. But that's the direct, most direct way from an interdimensional higher consciousness point of view, from the top of the mountain point of view, that is the most direct way to your bliss becoming manifest, to the who you really are becoming realized in this physical plane. So follow your excitement with humility, with integrity, with love, with passion, with dedication, every single step of the way, with trust in the fact that you're taken care of and that the details are taken care of and that everything is going to be completely amazing, completely abundant, completely liberating for you and that you will be living this by example and therefore inspiring other people to live their own joy. So in a nutshell, this has turned out to be eight minutes instead of five, but still, we did a pretty good job. So, um, those are the two types of happiness. Peace, because you need to be okay with the way things are. You need to be able to be okay with what comes up for you. And B, you need to also not be afraid to make changes, to follow your joy, to become a more ecstatic, radiant expression of what inspires you, to become a better channel for the light of your higher self, as I call it.